Our next guest is the author of The Conscious Cook and is considered one of the best chefs in the country. Please welcome my friend, Chef Tal Ronan. <laughs> Uh, really, your food is delicious, yeah, and uh, I can't wait to get to it and uh, share this with everybody. And like me, you used to eat meat, and uh, you made the shift. What what made you decide to start cooking a different way? Just a lack of good vegetarian food. So mm -hmm. that was the inspiration to go to culinary school and learn how to cook better. And now you're traveling and teaching other cooks how to... Yep. I was just in Chicago this week working with Le Cordon Bleu, the students there. Fancy. Fancy, yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's good. That's great. That's, That's great, because people do need more options. Okay, so what are we Definitely. making? So I always forget that it's winter in the rest of the country, because we're in L.A., so I want to mm -hmm. do something really hard. Oh, I think it's warm. chilly here today. It's a bit chilly. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do we're gonna do a take on a beef stew, a beefless uh -huh. beef stew. And uh, it's with a product I know you like, Gardein. So we'll start by... And you can find this just about anywhere now. Yeah, right? absolutely. Um, in the frozen section, you can find it at uh, Publix and Ralph's and Whole Foods. And then there are other stuff you can find in any store. And it tastes just like... Meat. Beef. It yep. really does. And the, and the one tastes just like chicken and yeah. same consistency. Same consistency. And you can't undercook it over because it's kind of cooked already, it's right? It's a little bit right? cooked, yeah. You yep. just got to sear it. Okay. So I heard you're really great with your knife skills. Am I? Yeah. So I thought maybe we'd have you cut a little bit of, uh, oh, they have a guard on here for you. Uh huh. So maybe cut some celery? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll you cut the get celery. Get that going and I'll get this going. <laughs> I'm watching you. That's it? How about some carrots? Right. She's All right. fast. All right. All right. So you you cook that by itself, then you put the onions in where? We're going to put the onions in here. Separate? Yep. We're going to add some celery. Celery? Yep. I've got it. You've got it? Let's, yep. use, let's use your celery. All right. Look. We'll get nice it's, big pieces. Yeah, chunky. Yeah. Some Party. salt, some pepper. All right. That didn't quite make it in. Well, there, there it's goes. all right. Okay. Okay, so normally you'd want to let this go for a few minutes, mm -hmm. but we're, we're doing this on TV. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to add some uh, thyme. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some rosemary. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some carrots. Mm -hmm. And we'll use these guys. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> Give that a stir. And then we're going to add a little flour. That's going to thicken this up. And I heard to keep the wine away from you from Roberto. I don't know if I should, but, whoa. No, I've got to go do idle after this, so I shouldn't drink. So we've got some stock going in there. <laughs> Once these are browned, mm -hmm. we're going to add them back in. Mm -hmm. But that's basically it. We have one that's ready. All right. So I'll show you. We'll plate it up. This is really hot, so All be right. careful. I'll stay away. And this is what it looks Look like. Look at that, Maybe how we can beautiful. Get a camera on that. Yeah. We'll get some in the bowl. And you know, it's great. You can serve it with some rustic bread, and you get a really warm winter meal. That's fantastic. Maybe That's some beautiful. Fresh herbs. That looks very, very hot. Are you going to taste it? Now it looks hot. Maybe blow on it a little bit? No. No? You're just going to look at it? I'm going to let somebody else taste it. I'm going to bring it to somebody in the audience. All right. Give <laughs> a little piece of bread. 